So when we see these things live and you watch me over the shoulder explaining certain things, it's more practical because there's no way for me to be able to tell you what many of you ask a lot is, well, how do you know, you know, which one it's going to form today? That's the uncertainty. Like you see these people out there, they'll say, oh yeah, ICT says he knows about the algorithm, but he, he doesn't know this right at this moment. You're, you're right. I don't know where they're going to open the price up on Sunday. Nobody knows that. And I have to eventually sleep sometimes. So I'm going to miss moves. That's what I said. You're going to miss moves too. You can't be in every swing. And that's taking things, cherry picking out of what I say and out of context to make your bullshit narratives when you want to troll and you want to hate, which is silly. It's your, your comedy to me. But when we watch price, I don't know. I do not know if there's going to be a fair value gap within a specific range yet. I don't know that. I have to wait to see if they're going to book it that way. If it's going to run off and leave it. I don't know if there's going to be a breaker. I don't know that. It might be just these one pass down and straight up. And no opportunity for a breaker to form. Those are the things that I don't know. I don't know that. Those things I have to wait for, just like you have to wait for. But you're learning, which is the parts I did say in my lectures and my teachings, that not every PD array is going to form. Just because I've outlined it in, a, in a, a matrix saying this is the normal order of everything, you've also been introduced to other PD arrays like the New Week Opening Gap, New Day Opening Gap, Implied Fair Value Gap. Fair Value Gap, you know, that implied fair value gap can occur anywhere. And you just have to observe it when it's there. And unfortunately, you know, some of you are already trying to talk about it and point to it, and they're not there in your examples. And that's unfortunate because you many times have a YouTube channel or you have a following on social media. And because you use the new, the new name and term that I've introduced to every one of you, they get excited. Like, oh, yeah, I see it and I understand it, too. And it's, it's many times like watching a guy do a magic trick and the guy thinks he knows how to do it. And then he, he tries it and he fails. And then he's angry that you didn't give him enough time to do it right. <laughs> so, I mean, it's very, it's very difficult managing all of these personalities. And I've opened up a Pandora's box by having all of you, like literally, you know, where you can reach to me on Twitter. Like I, nobody, nobody can hide your comment. Anyone that sends anything to me, they can see that. I just choose not to listen to assholes. But the biggest trolls, none of my biggest trolls are blocked. They're not. They'll lie to you and say they are, but they're not. And if they say I'm blocked, they need to log into their Twitter and look at my profile right there and show the 250,000 250, followers and show that they're blocked because they're not. So when we have um, opportunities to see things live in the live streams and when I don't want to do it, here's kind of like where I'm getting at. And this is what I was doing, I think, you know, one day this week where I said I wanted to do something, I was really wrestling with my mood swings. And I just, I, I was like, I, I can't, there's no way I was going to be able to conduct myself in a manner where it, it would have been good. <laughs> I, I'm not going to be on, I will not go on YouTube live stream and be like I am here. And I knew looking at price even that day, because I was angry about one, one of my sons, he has a, girlfriend that uh, we don't think is you know healthy for them right now they're too young and there's too much drama with it so my wife and i had a discussion and i'm very opinionated about it i don't want certain things to be done and she's coming around to my way of seeing things today but uh, that day you know i just I, I couldn't i couldn't bring myself to be in a live setting with all of you because I was angry. I was very angry and there was no way for me to really focus. Even looking at price, I, it would have been difficult for me to, to keep my focus on that. So 
I just went to Twitter and said, okay, here's what I see right now. Here's what I see right now. And you probably already saw that there wasn't a whole lot of it, but the things I shared was dialed in enough for you all to see that it's still working and it's fine. The idea of these funded accounts and the five handle moves and such, I see a lot of you are getting confident with that now. And I appreciate your willingness to share your observations and such. And I love the fact that the, I made this much money with this trade. ICT has toned down. I, I appreciate all of you helping me in that regard because it creates an emotionally charged endeavor here where I'm loving what I'm doing, but I don't want any of you to get hurt. And if you're pushing the button and you're trying to, you know, impress me, you're not impressing me. Even if you make a lot of money, I'm going to be angry. Like I, I'm, if, if someone's been trading for a while before I started this mentorship, you know, and some of you obviously have, and you know, you're the one, okay, that's one thing, but anyone that's just started training with me this year, and you're trying to do what I'm teaching in a, in a funded account or a live account, please don't tell me about it. I don't want to know. Okay. Because every time someone tells me they're making money, my first question is how long you've been doing it? Because if it's something that you just did, it's your first time, then, okay, I understand where you're going with it and I understand your excitement. But if it's something you've been doing for a while and you're able to land that, then, okay, yeah, I, I'm, I'll like that. I'll appreciate it. And I can high five that. Yeah. But I don't know how much time you've invested in this. And I don't want to, to inspire you to want to be doing that when you don't know how to trade yet. Because the whole point of me doing this mentorship with you all this year is to teach you, number one, how to read price. When I was doing my mentorship that was paid for, it was all about watching price. Don't pressure demo account. Don't do this. Don't do that because the outcome is then emotional. And now we're looking through that looking glass at these candlesticks with an expectation of I have to be right because now I have money behind it. Because if I'm wrong, I'm losing money. You see the difference there? I, it's, it's really hard to, to justify how that isn't the best advice. Like it, it's, it is the best advice, but it doesn't feel like the best advice when you have something to sell and you want people to come to your bullshit and try to buy it, whether it be a mentorship or some horse shit, you know, pseudo algo box bullshit, because that ain't, that ain't algorithmic. That's retail stuff. And when you have these competitions for everyone's attention and you're trying to inspire them to go out there and trade, unfortunately, I know enough to know that the average person doesn't have the mental faculties to do this, let alone be doing it quickly and successfully, regardless of what medium or approach to trading, even mine, which I think is superior to every fucking thing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the marketplace. I'm telling you, it. I'm showing it to you. I'm proving it to you. There ain't a motherfucker out there doing it. Dave, we'll see this week, won't we? <laughs> the, the worst thing you can do is be inspired by me or anyone else to go out there and try to trade and feel like you're ready. Because these same people that tell you to do that, they're falling on their face when they try to do it right in front of you in their live streams. Or they won't ever do it. They won't ever step out there and tell you what they think real time every fucking day. Because they know they will fail. And they'll pull some comedy show to try to cover it up. No, there's no emotion. There's no emotion. It's This is what it is. Market's going to do this or the market's going to do that. If you don't know, you say you don't know. But you better not say I don't know every day. Because then, guess what? You don't know. And there's a lot of people that are upset right now. Because your attention is being placed with what I'm sharing and what you're doing right now. You're listening to me talk about something that to them, you shouldn't be listening to this. You should be listening to them because they're showing you something that has a price tag on it. I have nothing with a price tag on it. I have the truth. I'm showing it to you. I'm proving it to you. 
So when you look at me and what I'm sharing, you're looking through that looking glass and you should be seeing fucking proof, evidence. There's a lot of YouTubers out there that I hope I can help. And I'm not asking any of you to represent me, not even to advertise for me, nothing. I'm not looking for that. I'm not looking for that at all. But there are a great number of you that genuinely do not know what the hell you're doing. And some of them are very entertaining, crashing and burning. And you know who you are, Texas Pete. But there's other ones that are very sincere out there. That they are cordial to their audience. They're very respectful, mon- you know, modest. And they just aren't doing very well. They're not really doing well. And like, I want to save them. <laughs> okay. I got this white knight complex. And some of you men might know what this feels like. I had the same thing with my first wife. You know, she had a lot of issues. And I wanted to be, you know, the knight in shining armor. I wanted to help her. I wanted to save her from our issue. And that's, pretty much at the core of my heart, why I teach the way I do. I am sympathetic to all of you because I know exactly how all of you feel. You feel like you're alone. You feel like you you, know, you need support and who the hell are you going to get the support from? Your friends and family don't know anything about this shit and they don't believe that it's going to be possible. And it's not the same thing just reading other people's tweets and reading other people's social media stuff or listening to people with their sports cars and their vacations and shit, but they're not showing you them executing trades. Here's a trade I took. Remember, you're looking through that looking glass. What are you seeing when you look around? Me included. Through that looking glass, are you seeing a reason to invest your time in whatever it is that you're looking at? Or in this case, listening to. Because if it is not capturing you, overtaking you, and subduing you, and holding you, and your attention, because you see obvious signs of professionalism, precision, logic that makes perfect sense, that is explained before it happens, not ambiguous, not 50-50, Now, it might do this, it might do that, which is what everybody that doesn't like me will say. But they're leaving out the parts where I say, but this is what I want to have happen. This is what I'm looking for. I'm waiting for this. This is my setup. This is my trade. If I'm wrong, this is what it's going to do, and I won't be be in the trade. I I won't be hurt by it because I'm looking for this trade to unfold. That's what you want to learn from. A person that can obviously outline what makes this work, how will you fail, How can I do certain steps to avoid failing? Avoiding entirely is impossible. But much like when you're in flight school and you're trying to learn how to fly, what's one of the things they put you through as a a pilot? You ever think about that? They take you up there and they tell you to turn the fucking engine off while you're in the fucking air. Like, what? (laughs) Are you kidding me? But hey, they got to teach you how to do what? A controlled landing. You might take off. It might be beautiful. You're up there in the sky. You're, You're sailing around, looking down, thinking this is great. And then your instructor says, oh, by the way, today's the day where we tell you to turn the fucking engine off. Figure it out. (laughs) And I'm sure that there's a great deal of anxiety when that happens. I'm sure that... You know, everyone that thinks that they're going to be ready for that moment, because everyone that goes into flight school knows that that's coming. And maybe they don't have it in unannounced. I'm trying to you know, be funny, obviously, because I'm not a pilot. But I couldn't do that. I, 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 I honestly, I know. I know. I'd flip out. There's no way. There's, first of all, I could not have the. The focus. You wouldn't want me. <laughs> you wouldn't want Ratchet ICT flying your ass anywhere in an airplane because we're probably going to get down real fast and not the down that you want to get down with. And so, <laughs> so then imagine 
that same thing occurring in trading. That's what's happening when you get out there with live funds, live money, listening to people that tell you to get there and trade sooner than you should when they themselves can't prove that they're doing it right either. And you can't build your faith in anyone based on, here's a trade I took. Here's a trade I took. Approach to selling something is the worst possible thing in the world. But unfortunately, in this industry, looking through the looking glass, you're going to look for what you want to see, especially if you're really new. 